Like, for in order for black people and Latinos to succeed in life, we gotta be the top of the top. The best athletes, the best, and yet again, we still do it. Cause we're so, we are, we are above all people. It's just in us, which is great. Like, there's no, there's no athletes that can top us in, in athleticism. The best athletes are black Latinos. That's what even the ones, that, even in slavery, we created most of the inventions. Right. The light bulb, that was the white man. The refrigerator, the black man. The, listen, there's a, there's a, a, the list goes on and on. The traffic lights. Like, you know what happened? Guess what? If you was my slave, I would take credit. The speaker and everybody's phone. That the was list goes on. Planet, it yes. goes to a black man. The list goes on and on. Like the movie um, about the, the, the rocket. Yeah. It was black woman that actually that actually made the calculations, yeah. right? Yeah. So we understand that the white man took credit, but the Bible says we're all. This is really good. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We're robbed and spoiled. America. find a lot of what? Single parent households. And what comes out of those single parent households? You guys say 3 and 12. What comes no. out? What's the result of single parent households? What's the result of that? Monsters. Because can, yes, um, kids, think about it. Can a, can a woman, can a, can a single mother teach a man how to be a man? I have that problem with my You see that? You divorced? No, uh, that's how start from a previous relationship. Oh, okay, okay. You, 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 you said you actually see that with your, with your own eyes. Because, every day. Because only day. That's an every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 to be, you know, do the right thing as far as, you know, be the provider, but then women are still evil. So it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a both, it's a combination of both. But like I said, a man, a woman cannot really raise a man how to be a man. He can teach him like, like, you know, little morals, like, you know, whatever the case is, but how to be, a, you need that strong figure in the house. And a man alone cannot really raise a woman how to be a woman because certain things the, mo the mother got to teach the daughter how to do, you understand? So read this Isaiah 3 and 12. The book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, so as for my people, the Israelites, we don't. Children are their oppressors. Who do you see being the drug dealers in our neighborhoods? The gang bangers. Yeah. Who is it? People are all my age group, twenties, thirty year olds, yeah. children, eighteen year olds, teens. Right? When you think about the next gang bang, you think about that in teenage, right? The wild boy, the what? The you great monsters. It says the uh, the real oppressors are what? Children. We don't. Rule over them. And what? And women rule over them. And the women have taught men how to have taught the young men wrong. Because like I said a, a woman cannot really teach a man how to be a man. That's a lot of kids grow up really emotional and feminine because they're raised by women. Right? And guess what? Where, where are most of the confrontation? They, right, you can't take confrontation. We see it all the time. We tell our brother, yo, listen, stop, yo, stop saying your pants. Yo, they they want to fight us. Yo, yo we just trying to, to stop saying your damn pants. Right, right. The father will be listening. Yo, just, yo, listen, don't be emotional. Right, be confrontational. Because just, you see a lot of men who sag their pants. That's also has, you know, homosexuality roots in prison. But you see a lot of men sagging their pants. You guys have saying your pants, brother. That's what it is. The Bible talks about that. Right. But they don't they look at it in the spiritual aspect of it. But that's one thing, right? It says, women rule over them. Read on. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the ways of thy past. And that's the word destroyed because of single parent household. Right. There's a study that people that are raised with, with, with both parents in their house actually are more quote unquote successful. You know, you do have stipulations here and there, but it is true. Like, when you're raised with, with both uh, parties, you know, there's, there's more stability. Yes, sir, go ahead. I'm, I'm engaged in, in some observation of just conducting conversation with people that have grown up in both with both parent households compared to the conversations that I've had with people that I know grew up in single households. And they, the people with both parents, are a lot more intelligent. Yeah, that's the truth. Because they have a lot of different viewpoints. 
You know what's heavy? Uh, I'm not sure if you watched the movie uh, Com Coming Back to America. Have you seen it? Have you seen the, new, the newer one, the, the two? But uh, you know, when, when you see um, the, 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 the prince, the, the younger prince right, in America going to a job interview, the Caucasian was like, oh, okay, uh, okay uh, are both parents around? No, only my mother. Oh, so I heard a study that, you know, single parent household children actually grow up, you know, with more crime. Like, it, it, they put it very subtly in the movie that the white man knows that when kids are raised with just one parent, it's very unstable. Right. And they put it very subtly in the in the, in the interview, which is early in the movie. On. I'm like, I want my dad said because that means they know that. They understand that why we're in such a condition we are because most of the, like, where are most of the black men at? Prison. Now, is that in the Bible? It's got that. Isaiah 42, 22. Yeah. But that's in the Bible. And yes, you know, sometimes it could be petty crimes, right? Because Clinton, right, was planning to the three strike rule. Right? Listen, like, you get three petty crimes, go to prison. But yet again, the white man robs entire companies, took pensions from people. Then again, what? Not, almost nothing. You understand? We, we do all it, but at the same time, we do understand that we do do messed up stuff, like drug dealing. Listen, if a drug dealer gets caught selling drugs, listen, you gotta take the time. If you're a murderer and you get caught, you gotta serve the time because that's just that's judgment upon you. Now read, read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. In what? In prison houses. It says, we are, further says we're next. Listen, there's a lot of traps set for black Latinos. Like, That's listen, right. in order for a black man to go to college, he gotta be the best student or either the best athlete, right, to try to gain a scholarship. Yet again, white people, they have connections. He might have the worst grades, might have a 2.5 GPA. Yet again, listen, yo, pick my son up. All right, go, go, go to Harvard. You understand? Like, for in order for black people and Latinos to succeed in life, we gotta be the top of the top. The best athletes, the best, and yet again, we still do it. Because we're so, we are we are above all people, which is in us, which is great. Like, there's no there's no athletes that can top us in, in athleticism. The best athletes are black and Latinos. That's what even the one the best, even in slavery, we created most of the inventions. Right. The light bulb, that was the black man. The refrigerator, the black man. The listen, yes, there's a, there's a, a, the list goes on and on. The traffic lights. Like, you know what happened? Guess what? If you was my slave, I would take credit. The speaker and everybody's phone. The list goes on. Planet yes. goes to a black man. The list goes on and on, like the movie um, about the, the, the rocket. Yeah. It was black woman that actually that actually made the calculations, yeah. right? Yeah. So we understand that the white man just took credit, but the Bible says we're all, this is really good. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We're robbed and spoiled. America, first of all, America belongs to the Native Americans. Right. Where do you see them now? Down in like Oklahoma. Yeah. Like there's certain cities and towns called, named after Native Americans, right? But you don't see no Native Americans. You see white people there. They in reservations. And in those reservations, there's a lot of what? Alcoholism in those reservations. What? Right. Right. Harlem. Harlem is black. But now yes. see who coming in. Yeah. Look at who got the, the house now. Yep. Taking yep. up. Gentrification. Yep. See that going on everywhere. Yep. Even in Newark, in Jersey. Like Newark now, certain part you like when I, when I drive, I'm like, why well, does it look nice out here? Because you see white men now moving in. Once you see a Starbucks in there anywhere, it's a wrap. It's a gathering your back, your rent is about to go up, your mortgage is about to go up, you know, state tax taxes about to go up. Once you see those Whole Foods in your community, just pack your bags up. <laughs> because that's what happens. So we're it says we're people robbed and spoiled. We you don't know? They are all of them snared in holes. We're snared, the, the, the school to prison pipeline is real. Right. That's, you, you heard about the school to prison pipeline? How most black Latino kids, like the way we're trained to be in school, like listen, either you, after you graduate school, either you go to college, you go straight to prison. That's you have, look at the juvenile detention centers. From, from teenage age, you already have a record. Six to get a record. So now you know what I'm saying? Like, we're accustomed to crime. We have the music industry. That's also a snare, right? Because I'm pretty sure y'all are a little more old, you see all my other snare on hit. Like me, I'm looking at for like going back looking at documentaries and whatnot. Like when hip hop first originated, there was a lot of consciousness, there was a lot of like, you know, for, for right, it's for us to move better as a people. But Guess what? Now hip hop is about it's like today you have people, yo, know, you have a music, I'm not sure if y'all seen it. There's a music video of this rapper 
giving Satan a lap dance. Yo, and guys, so our kids, listen to it. The female artists nowadays, they were, they make music referring to their what? Vagina. And they promote it. How bad they are and all that stuff. Now, the music industry has turned into a plague because it's talking about either sex, murder, or drugs. Right? You have how much drugs you can do. I pop Molly Percocet, Molly Percocet. How much drugs you can do. Meanwhile, those same rappers have made interviews that they, I don't do drugs. I don't do that. You know, you, you know why that's so heavy? Because they go out and make music about the drugs that they quote unquote do, but yet, yet, yet themselves don't do the drugs. They just do it for the people to listen to, and then we do it because we want to be like them. Right? They make music about killing. Like, there's a song about 50 Cent, how, listen, he talk about how he gets ready when before a murder happens. And yo, and that's in the music, that puts, a, if you listen to every day, it's gonna put a murder spirit in you, right? So, that's another snare. The education system is a snare, because guess what? Now in Chicago, you know what they guys are teaching in history class? The history of the LGBTQ community. Yo. You know how hard, you know you know how hard it took to get Black History. Like me in the school, every Black History Month, I was all over the dozen. Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, they ain't about the next. It's all over the dozen. Frederick Douglass. Okay, but what about the Black Panthers? Never. What about Nat Turner? Never. What about Marcus Garvey? Never. Yeah, like look, it was always the same redundant history. But now they want to push a history about what? Two men sleeping with each other. So that's another snare. The education, the church. Oh, I, I never hear about that. The, ch the church. Bad people love going to church, but every Sunday, guess what happens? They take 10% of your check. Right? They don't address real things about community. It's just like get up and dance, sing. But where's the change? So it says we are snared and trapped in that. Read on. And they are hid in prison houses. Where? In prison houses. Mark, you hit it on the head. You said where the black men. You said prisons. That's where the most of our men are at. In prisons, read on. They are boy pray and none deliver it. Boy spoil and none save restore. Yes, sir. Nobody, as much liberals you find out there, like what was the the, the the old white man, the liberal that was running for president, oh. uh, that Cardi B was uh, was running with. What's his name? Sanders. Sanders. Uh, what's his name? Damn. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. That is. Thank you, Bernie Sanders. Right, he was a so-called liberal. Right, he is a so-called liberal. That you know, yes, I believe in reparations for the black community. He, don't care. He, just, he just knows that we are that we are so dumb that we'll follow with those things. Meanwhile, they get in the office, nothing happens. You understand? They know they can pray, they can pray on our emotions. But no real white man, no real Chinese man really want to restore us anything. Because guess what? You know what real restoration will mean? Bring it up. Yes! Giving us back this land. Yes, giving us back the United States, giving us back North America. Then going back to where they came from. You know where they came from? The cause of the right. uh, uh, they go into the cave. The word Caucasian means what? Cave dweller. The real caveman is the white man. That's what they are. That's what they are. Listen, they want to restore you. Go back to your damn caves. Go back. Go back to play with fire in your cave. That's where they belong. But they're not doing that. Because they, they are so enriched in they in they in they system. Go back to Corinthians. You gotta get something to say? Go back to Corinthians. The book of first Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Nor what? Effeminate. We talked about that. A lot of young men are effeminate nowadays. They had walked around with their hands twisted. <laughs> you know, talking about yellow makes me cry. Yo, listen. That's it. In fact, fact let's, get, let's go back to sagging of the pants. Give me that sandwich. Because... You see it every day. You see, yo, it, yeah, I don't know how they think it's fashion. Yo, I seen, I seen a dude walking down literally with his pants down, like literally down here. Like, no, like literally down, like walking like this. Like he, he, he even walks, so he walking like this. You seen that, right? Yo, that's a fact. They both are wrong, because that's what we have to be seen. I understand. From his sports, because that's also wrong since the like. I understand. Yes. But I guess your point, though. I guess your point. Men are showing they behind more than women nowadays. That's nasty. And they all sister, you know, I'm going to bring it later, but just so you know, as a disclaimer, women have a dress code as well. Right. Like pants and stuff. So I tell you, but listen, that's what it is. The Bible says women are not supposed to be wearing pants. Right. They're meant to wear dresses. Like, think about it, even in slavery times. Oh, where's the sign at? Right there. Give me that silver sign. Uh, in slavery, right, you find even our sisters, right there, you have it, wearing 
wrestling that skirts during slavery time. Under the, you know, you know what the excuse nowadays is? Give me that, the, the law, Deuteronomy 22. They say, oh, you get the same as did that. Oh, it's too hot. I can't wear a it, dress, it's too hot. But we wore that in the fields. Oh, it's too cold. I can't wear, I can't wear dresses, it's too cold. But guess what, those same leggings that they wear, is meant to wear underneath the dress. Right. You understand? So give me that first. So just, just, just in case you know, you know that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Listen, a lot of people try to disguise it, but pants always belong to men. Right. In the Bible, the sons of Aaron wore the breeches. Are you from down south? They say the breeches. What's that going into? The pants. The pants, right? And they all oh, eat. This is a wall. It's woman pants. Listen, it still it still has a zipper. Listen, what what do you got pulled off from that zipper? <laughs> and I mean, the pants are meant for men. Right. You know? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. We have actually Kid Cudi. Was it this past week? This I don't know if you, there's an artist named Kid Cudi, right? He's a rapper. Same. That's what I tell you. The music industry is crazy. He is a rapper. Remember, so, so you, you can show them. Pull up the image for the Kid Cudi. This man. Did a performance in a full out dress. Dog, I mean, a Kurt Franklin, but I know definitely Kid Cudi was this past week. He did a performance in a dress, man. Like, that's another one. 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 That's another